this is Gogo Incognito for Nerd Caliber, day two of New York Comic Con. And I am here with the one and only absolutely fabulous, beautiful and talented Yaya Han at the CosplayFabrics.com booth. So what I want to talk to the lovely Yaya about today is not only these fabrics, which honestly I know I should be looking here, but they're right here and they're amazing. But also I want to hear what is new and exciting, like what characters can we look forward to you making? What are you so excited about? Well, oh my gosh, um, I have a to-do list that keeps growing longer. And uh, on there, I, I have a couple of original designs I'm really interested in. I mean, I'll, I'll just tell you now, I'm working on a my own couture version of the Evil Queen. Uh, and just, you know, Snow White's Evil Queen, but taking inspiration from, uh, you know, Once Upon a Time and also, like, uh, you know, the Disney movie and uh, then the couture dolls. But just, I don't know, I'm like, everybody's into Maleficent, but I'm like, the Evil Queen, she's the OG. So I'm always like, I want to represent her. She's awesome. Oh, and her look is absolutely amazing. I mean, no disrespect to Maleficent whatsoever. There can, you know how they say there can be only one? We're women. There can be as many as we want there to be. Exactly. So a little bit about the fabrics. Like, this is miraculous that you're doing this. We love this. Especially, you can go now to Joann's. You can go to cosplayfabrics.com. You can order them. What was the, what was the spark that made you say, oh, no, this needs to be? Oh no, it wasn't up to me. Uh, Cosplay Fabrics, they approached me and uh, I was like, really? What? Huh? And because I mean, I've always been a fabric nerd and a ported fabric since I started cosplaying because I used to be super broke and would <laughs> keep every scrap possible. And when they came to me and said, hey, we would like to make fabrics that, you know, cosplayers might want, I was like, holy crap. Uh, I literally sent them swatches of almost every fabric that I've hoarded for like 15 years saying, can we make something similar? Can we do something like this, but you know, better, you know, with higher quality? I mean, it was just such a nerd fest and this has been like the most rewarding project I've worked on because uh, that's at the heart of it, that's, that's what I love. I, I love materials, I love techniques, I love the craftsmanship side of I love the craftsmanship side of the aspect of cosplay. Well, that's and one thing that I love, that I know so many of us love, that you do, is your step by step by step. And I mean, you're, you're you know, you're, ooh, level. But for some of us who are still new or still like, it takes us, you know, a month or a year to make something. It is very inspiring and also very comforting to be like, okay, this is how you do it. You know, I want to thank you for those cosplay tutorials. Never stop, Yaya. Oh, Never you. stop. So anyway, do you have maybe a little bit of advice or something like to a brand new sewer? I mean, because you're, you're an expert beyond. What can you tell people like me who struggle and don't always know how to finish our seams, et cetera, et cetera? Honestly, sewing to me is very zen. It's a really... It's a really relaxing pastime. Uh, and the thing that people forget when they're intimidated by sewing is that you can rip the seams. If you make a mistake, you can rip the seams apart and do it again. Like, it's not like, uh, you know, making armor or, or, or props where you, you know, you, you sculpt something wrong or you put something wrong together and it's it's gone. Like, with sewing, if you make a mock-up uh, so that you know all the pattern pieces are, you know, fitting you properly, then you can really take your time with the actual craftsmanship part of it and, and know that it is forgiving. You know, like, awesome. and they're they're like, uh, really use your resources available. I can't say that enough. Like, my my two biggest tips for new cosplayers is to, to is to really get get in there, dig in deep for the the information. You know, really let curiosity govern you and guide you, and um, just be thirsty for information. And like, the second is just. Find a support system. Build yourself a support system with friends, family, whoever is like-minded and wants to cosplay with you. Because that just makes it so much more fun and oh, a lot less right. intimidating. And it can be intimidating, but I think what Yaya is saying, and this is such good advice, don't be afraid. Work it, try it, 
you can always rip the seams and that's that's some good advice all right so tell me my dear as people go off for, for people who are computer illiterate when they after they watch this and they're like wow I need to learn more I need all the yaya Han tell us where can we find you on the internet I'm pretty easy to find, I feel like. Well, you know, my site is yayahan.com, and my full portfolio is on there. And uh, I post daily on Facebook under Yaya Cosplay, and uh, Twitter and Instagram under Yaya Han. So really just, um, I try to share as much as possible about my travels, as well as, you know, any inspirational thought, and of course, costume progress. So please, like, come check out what I do. Follow my adventures. And they are amazing adventures. Seriously, for the one, maybe two, maybe one person out there who does not know this fantastic woman, Yaya Han. I'm Gogo Incognito for Nerd Caliber. Thank you, Yaya. Thank you so much.